Come on, let's get a card again. Now, Most Reverend Bishop Seamus Hagerstay is going to bless Parkney Breed. And then you have an arrogance and victory against the spirit of the evil men. Go on, cheer on the live. Go on, Mish. Irmish nish banach jay er an fart pelisha agus er ahanlinia a wun hi uus hichasji. Hier na jia, ber amuj glor agus maludij, jark an uus go kuyin arin yata krinyan shaw anyu. Kartavanach er an aichia pelisha a ta a kar ar fwael mar herevish agus mar aash ton fobol. Kartavanach er ahanlinia a wun hi uus aj as an aash shaw, tor sonus agus siach an doif, kan yi sla an sawal jay iad, Agus lian iad li ahan suelke agus li sheen. Tamuj krinyan sha mar da fobol anwen as meinlin da halya janu bilin nyarti shen khasin shen irmud shen trech ri stargyarna. Amen. Do I speak now? Yes. Uchtaran Khoman Lucas Gale, Kayla Borda Konde, Walla de Kostje Konde, Agatun Yushli Gilir, Boilum Gujira Ra, Gualahasaram Venshaw, Trislium, Le Club New Bridge, as an Echt at a Jant Oku, and Park Imerha Breshaw Akarar Fal. I'm very happy to be here and to join with all of you in congratulating uh, New Bridge Ballantra on this remarkable achievement of providing such uh, a fine pitch. Great credit is due to all concerned. I hope that it will be very successful for the local club and I hope that many more Matt Gallagher's will appear on the scene as a result. I also hope that uh, the, the opening the pitch this year uh, is a very historic time as we are about to experience our first All-Ireland victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! And uh, we are all looking forward very much to the 20th. I know that uh, our, our team, our manager, the county board will all do us proud 
and I hope that we also, the supporters, will uh, enjoy the experience of an All-Ireland final, that we will, as the ambassadors of Donegal and as the representatives of Donegal in Dublin, that we will retain our cool and our dignity at all times. And may I finally, uh, in wishing the team uh, all the very best for the All-Ireland final, which I know is the wish of Donegal people at home and abroad, I would ask you, as the president of GAA here in the county, to seriously consider all of you who are supporters on the day of the final to return to Donegal on that evening, as soon as possible after the match. I think that there is nowhere where we can celebrate as well as in Donegal, and we look forward to doing that on that night. So in wishing the Donegal team every success, I wish again to congratulate Club Newbridge here and all the officers for the tremendously hard work which uh, was put into providing this fine accommodation. Thank you very much. Chak the Dalla, Kai Horla, Conda de Nagal, Napeladuri, Augusta Hofika, as Conda on Clare, Augusta de Nagal, Augusta Karjagil, Alair. Her son, Clubney Breeds, Boatlam Falchereb Gulair, and you, Kuji on Ovika Oskild Parkney Breed. Most Reverend Bishop Seamus Hegarty, President of Common Lew Class Gale, Mr. Peter Quinn. Reverend Fathers, Reverend Ministers, officials, players from County Clare and Donegal, public representatives, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the New Breed Club, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here today to the official opening of Park New Breed. I would especially like to welcome the Clare, the Clare County team, Munster champions, it is very fitting that the Ulster champions and the Munster champions should meet here today at the opening of our park. This is a very historic and a very special day for the Neat Breed Club. Since the club was founded 16 years ago, it has always been our ambition to own our own pitch, and today we have eventually got our goal. In 1988, the club bought this fine field from Ms Sheila Hamilton, to whom we are very grateful. The following years it was developed, our main contractor was John Cleary, and Donald Quinn from Architectural Design and Lahey did the plans. Both of these men deserve a lot of credit for turning out such a splendid job. I would like to thank everybody who supported us in our fundraising draws and activities. Without your help, it wouldn't be possible. And I would like to thank the Golf Club in Morva for helping us mow our pitch, Donegal County Council for tarring the road outside the pitch, Patsy Doherty for cutting hedges, and everybody who helped in any way develop our park. Thank you very much, and you're all welcome here today. And Last year, our president, Mr. Peter Quinn, handed over the Sam Maguire Cup to the Ulster champions, Down. This year, I hope he hands it over again to another Ulster team, this time Donegal. I'd like to wish the very best luck to Brian, Matt and the Donegal County team in the All-Ireland Final. Thank you. Now I would like to call on Uchtal and Common Class Gael, Padre O'Quinn, to say a few words. Gormago. I can hear I hear an aspi August a cordiala. Tasha Fluck August, or no, Tasha Fuhr August, Marshin need lucky me more nama. Ak bawailum, buyakos August ko gorgeous ago all, la common need breed, asok, ashen a bram or shah a cor or file ag muncher and canter. August Tommy Kinchigunu Sarge for Nahashina Shaw, 
han tlihi na shunta na hern a korarai so farosta sho. I'd uh, like first of all to compliment the St. Bre uh, Nave Breed Club on providing this fine playing pitch, one of the finest playing surfaces that I have had the honour of seeing and, and had the honour of opening. And indeed, I'm absolutely certain that your Chairman Michael would have his wish fulfilled if the All-Ireland Final was being played here instead of in Croke Park. <laughs> uh, as an organisation that is very concerned to build national identity and recognising that national identity can only be built by building identity at the local roots, grassroots area in the local parishes. We know that, not, that local identity can be built in theory, but much more importantly, it can be built in practice by the development of facilities like this and by the provision of a focal point, a pitch and social centre and dressing rooms and all the other things that go to make up a GAA park and a GAA centre and GAA headquarters. And we know that this, these facilities that are provided here will provide for the people of Ballantrahan Lahi a focal point which will give them their identity and allow them to take pride in their own place, which is a very important element of what the GAA is all about. I compliment everyone who is involved in the provision of these facilities. I hope that they will be used to promote our games and to promote our identity. And I hope that all of those who play on this fine pitch will enjoy the best of luck and that the standard of games played here will be of the highest order. And finally, that Nave Breed will be promoted from Division 3 up through Division 2, and that maybe someday someone will be bringing the trophy for the Donegal Senior Championship back here to Ballantra. Yeah. A carja go and wake us a reach, <laughs> Lagoptin a Vikangelte, Lesh on Chunskov, Shaw, August, Guillaume Gok. Now I'd like to call on Kaihorla Bordnakonda Nal McCall to say a few words. A Kaihorla, Uchtran, Common Luke Class Gail, a Hirn Aspic, Uchtran, Common Luke Class Gail, Sakondi. Harib McGill, Lars Uchtaran, Common Lucas Gael, Hakti Dale, August Andinya at the Crinian Shaw and you. Nihiglum to Marni Yenu Fin Amshur, Visulum Gunyanu and Fire at the Teeth Hirdom and Shaw, with Meshesh and Abdul Rodig and Yanu, with Nuri Rilesh. Boilum or Deuce, Moehis, Agoel, Le Club Ni Breed, as Octon Koru, a Hortu and Shaw. Er an la inte staruvel se klom, an la en araskelshid an part vresha at han mui roin. Ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed a very historic occasion for the Neve Bridge Club. They're one of the younger clubs, maybe one of the youngest clubs in Donegal at the moment. But in the 20 years since they've been formed, they have done tremendous work. They have a fine social centre in near the town, and they've developed this park into one of the outstanding parks in the county. Indeed, it's difficult for any club to develop a pitch, but particularly when you're nestled between two large towns, and they are also trying to develop modern facilities, it makes it much harder. But the determination and the mighty effort of the Neve Bridge officials and everybody in this area has to be recommended. Indeed, we know plenty about the Neve Bridge members that we're familiar with in the Donegal GA board. You have sent us our Kistjar and his determination and his ability is much appreciated by everybody in the county board. You also sent a delegate there and while he won't say much at the meetings. After the meetings, he has plenty to say because he's all the time shouting, will you buy a ticket? He'll stick his hand in his pocket and he'll pull them from the inside pocket. No, they're too dear. He'll go to the right pocket. No, they're too dear. He'll do about five pockets, but he'll have tickets that you'll be able to buy. you had been far better in the first time if you'd have bought from him and get rid of him. So PJ Rooney has done mighty work at every county board meetings for this club 
in trying to raise funds. I know I hope that when this park is now at this fine state, that PJ will live it all alone for a while, but knowing him, he'll have something else up his sleeve. Uh, we have seen the determination of uh, the mighty man himself who took on Goliath in Crow Park in the semi-final. Matt was typical of the determination that's in this club. He's a vital member of the county team, and I suppose the photographs in that day, one with a little caption, hi big fella, I'm coming behind you. I was asking Michael, your chairman here, had just tested the fencing yet, because you have a man in the club who's well able to test fencing. That's Matt. Uh, without further ado, Boyle Maurice, Moehis ago legat dinya, and Kyerla and Rooney, and dinya a will bunch akoile shaw. August Gan Jarmuth, a Yenu and the Mara. The sheets in the sea, uh, to Ninet Pubble and you, be Michel of Foreign and Hondi, Te Breche, August Capri, Jataku, August the McKinchy Gold Kajago and Wien Shaw, a Gumber Kokrui is a Dahan Daniela, a Rish, Niam Kogarges, Leahan Dinya, at a La Interstar will shot the Club Knee Bridge. Got a head mic. Now I'd like to call on Mr. Francie Cunningham, Development Officer. Um, I hear an aspect of the Sukhtaran coming loose at scale in Borden Kondi. Last Sukhtaran, I hear a Kholyari Kondi, and I hear a Afiki, Agus uh Lok Taki Octa Ni Bridge. Janam Kogarja has the Lishan Club or Sun and Elt War at the Jantaku and Shaw. Ta Park Inta Karafalaku the Common Luk Las Gael. Ta Maluhar Inta Tilcha uh Aku the water and over at Jantaku Ya Kuglian and Nuas. Tashahart or Kuglian O Louis here the Dosa Fi Park Nual Stick Hunter Shaw. August Fikin Majinu Taru and Seer at the Karisha Aku. Aku. But while I'm a co warger as a goalie, I guess go haria, lish and look taki acta, hug and could you enter dog, or he have arrogant this day, the quibbling and nurse. I spoke now while Sue's taking la cared meal upon catch a aku or hussy shade and shaw. I guess a small major arrogant Asian or counter the beast son Hundi and shaw. Um, top park in a my hagi horin. August Tashi the Hurrah Fall, Duskal Park Anway Ella Malagunal, Couple of Meohan, Park Intan Shaw, August Anish, a Gulch Region Hondi, Ta Park in Anway Hogan, Anish, Gumbertus Lemurby, Jim Lee and Ohen. Ach Shinbar by Hart of A, August Sulang, Go Lani Club and Ella, and Jaham Plata, Toka Egg, Pohoman in the Bridge and Shaw. I guess Gogari Shields and Pia said in the parking at Taku, I guess parking in Nua, I guess Ashen and his father her fall done looked Oga or Fad. A reach Chagas Lako Hulk Lashon, you can you spot yourself, a reach by William Kogarjas of all your Pohomani Bridge, I guess Nahafi Gigo Harry, a Dubrigo Kui, a Shablin and the Shkarabi Shablin or Hussey Shield, and Nuas, I guess each in a leg of Hog Taki at all, and Cantor Shago Harry, Martigam Gar Togo Hartley Shock was a Kui, Nahok will think get the hostess now in the Hebrew and Sanach. A Saint Amara Hushit and King, I guess Tashi Trahu and Anish go al Dinya, then Club, Mar. Can the pre Vimrori at Oran Gunangal, Matt Gallagher, Augusta Sulanga Mesha, Ashinson Park Show, a young couple of shocked in Augustam Lesh. Could a kid meal of my hug of Augusta at Pokemon Knee Bridge? Could a mic up? Gurmaya got a crunchies. Now, without further ado, I call on Uchtal and Common New Class Gale to officially open Park Knee Bridge. And this takes place out at the front of the clubhouse.
Are you on the mic? A card your league, Falcher Rose, could ye park Truman and on Ashohanu? Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Fathers, TDs, councillors, members of the press, TV, radio, you're very welcome to Truman. This has to be a red letter day in the life of the New Bridge Club. The long years of frustration and waiting to get a pitch ready, playing football through the rushes, all them things that happened then, well, we're happy today that that's all over now. And what an occasion for us as well, because we have the All-Ireland finalists here with us today, which makes it better, and it's all the better again because they happen to come from Donegal. I'm looking around here and there's more dignitaries beside me than you could shake a stick at. I see Noreen Dofford here, a beautiful secretary sitting here in the middle. Noreen, you're very welcome. A, tea, a county councillor from my own hometown here, I see Colm Gallagher, and our local TD as well, Mary Coughlin. And we have here in the background as well, our parish priest and president of the Neve Bridge Club, Reverend Father Macaulay. Should have, uh... I knew he would say that. I see Paul Carr has taken his place here on the team today. He's playing on the half back line. There's a few changes. As you people all know, Donald Reed, that was originally in that place, was injured in a club game last weekend. But I was talking to Donald today before the game and he assured me that he's okay and the progress is great and that he definitely will be on or ready for the third Sunday for the third Sunday in September. We give a very warm welcome to the Clare team here today and I think they have showed the country at large that they are a team that we are going to see a lot more of in the future as well. A good young team and but for a few mistakes I suppose we could say and a few breaks that would have been in there last Sunday as well. I was talking here before to Peter Quinn. Peter was at our function last night and he played a glowing tribute to the warm welcome that he received in Donegal. And we're very happy to have him with him. He's also his beautiful wife as well. So Peter and the missus, you're very welcome. Mary, I think's the name. Very welcome. Clare line up first we have in goals James Hanahan. Our back line is Jerry Kelly's at full back, Seamus Clancy and Keir Mahoney are the wing backs. Frank Cunningham, John Joe Rowan is in centre and Keir O'Neill is on the left wing. Morrissey and Maloney's in centre field. No road. The half forward line we have no roach, Francis McInerney and Jerry Killeen. And the full forward line we have Padre Conway, Colm Clancy and Martin Flynn. And the Donegal lineup is playing as they are announced here. We have Gary Walsh and Golds, Noel Higgerty, Matt Gallagher, and John Joe Doherty. We have Paul Carr, Martin Gavigan, and Martin Shovelin. Centre field is Brian Murray and Anthony Malloy. The half forward line is James McHugh, Martin McHugh, and Joyce McMullen. And on the full forward line, we have Declan Boner, Tony Boyle, and Manus Boyle. The subs I will give you as we go on. Brian Murray kicks the ball in from the centre of the field. Declan Boner has her. Nice ball. Has to be. Didn't be. Didn't. Claire picks her up. Passes it out. 
There seems to be a lot of pressure here coming from Zing, but Clare are moving up the field again. Martin Gavigan goes through, but is picked up by John Joe Doherty. Torney passes it back to Martin Gavigan, who strips it right into the centre. Up to go for it. Caught again by the centre half back, John Joe Ruane. Clare seems to be moving very well. The centre field man, Aaron Maloney, has picked it up. She's moving, has to be, got to be, got to be, got to be, got to be, and is. A point score, the first score of the game from County Clare. That score came from Colm Clancy. Beautiful point. First point scored by a senior team in Knee Bridge Park. Gary Welch places for the kick out. He kicks it long out into the centre of the field. Fielded by Brian Murray. Or was it? Gavigan collects the ball. Pressured. James McHugh goes to the sideline. James McHugh picks the ball up. Passes out to Martin. Martin gives it into the centre. Lovely Boyle to Tony Boyle. Tony Boyle in turn gives it to Martin Gavigan. Joyce McMullen has the ball. He shoots. And a point it is. Lovely point. Lovely point for Joyce McMullen. A combination of the McHugh men from the side passed on to Martin Gavigan, who was moving up the centre, on to Joyce McMullen on a beautiful point. First point scored by Donegal and Thrummon. Conditions out in the middle of the field are a bit damp, but... Taking everything into consideration, they're not too bad at all. Ball's kicked out again. Picked up again by Martin Gavigan. Well spotted, well kicked. Paul Carr gets the ball. Martin McHugh takes it. Into the forward line again. Nicely taken but knocked out of his hands. Lovely ball. Gavigan's fielding today is fairly good. McHugh gets it again. Passes it in. And to Brian Murray. Lovely fielding. Has to be. Got to get a score out of it. Brian Murray takes a shot. And a point. A lovely point. Brian Murray. <laughs> I see this. The addition, the addition on the Donegal team today, John Joe Doherty, and I am very sure that John Joe was going to be trying hard for a place on this team. And right now, at the present time, that wouldn't be an easy job to do to get into it. But there, he's out here today anyway. He's in place of the injured Barry McGowan. Anthony Malloy takes the ball. Anthony, good left for a drive. I think the great thing about Anthony Malloy the year is that he's playing the football of his life. Ball well taken up to the centre field man from Clare. Just put into the game. John Joe Doherty cuts it off, but ball Doherty fouled him, so there's a free in for Clare. Taken quickly. Out to the left wing. Shovelin tackles him. Takes a shot. Doesn't take a shot. Free out over carrying. Joyce McMullen takes it. Kicks it up again into the forward line. Lovely catch by Manus Boyle. Manus takes a shot. Gives it back up and again to Declan Boner. Declan Boner gives it to Martin McHugh. Martin McHugh takes a shot. What a goal! What a goal! Lovely stuff. Beautiful football. Great combination football. Brilliant. I noticed that time Joyce McMullen came back into the back line, took that ball out of it and delivered it up into the half forward line. Beautiful stuff. Lovely stuff. I don't know whether it was the effects of the banquet last night on Clare, but they seem to be dragging it a little bit at the present time. How and ever. But talking... Centre field, that's Tom Morrissey. Tom takes a shot, he kicks it in. But picked off by 
Noel Hagerty. Noel Hagerty in turn gives it out to Gavigan. Gavigan in turn gives it to Danny Malloy. Noel Hagerty is coming running again. He gives it back to Martin Shovelin. Martin Shovelin kicks it on. Sorry he didn't take it, but again into the fray is Gavigan. Tackled again by Joyce McMullen, who seems to be all over the place today and is playing good football. The number 10 for Noel Roach. Noel Roach takes it. Centre field man again. Morrissey has it. He still has it. Hand to toe. He turns. He kicks. Coming into the centre, but Noel Higgerty is there again. Noel Higgerty playing brilliant stuff. Kick long. Kick long. Manus Boyle picks it on. Tony Boyle picks it off. A ball again that's well out to the wing to Brian Murray. Brian Murray picks it up. And he takes a shot himself. But sadly gone wide. A good effort. The ball is going I would have to state at this point in time that Donegal are playing with a breeze in this first half, which would make a difference. That was a ball that should have been over, but wasn't. Anthony Malloy is fighting for this one again. Paul Carr has it. Paul takes, carries it in with him. Pass it in to Declan Boner. Declan in turn passes his man, gives it off to Martin McHugh. Martin takes his shot, but sadly gone wide. Somebody said that Martin McHugh kicks it better with his left foot. I think he does too. He tried that one with the right, but it didn't work. Looking out across the sea of faces here today, there's an awful lot of happy Donegal people. And why wouldn't they be? They're just 70 minutes away from running in all Ireland, and I think they can do it this time. Martin McHugh again. This man seems to be flying today. He gives it off to Joyce McMullen. Joyce takes a shot. Our luck just inches wide. <laughs> we have a capacity crowd here today and they seem to keep coming. They're moving in from all angles into this beautiful park here today. Ball has been picked up. Father McCauley, you better give me a number of that man because I'm stuck. Number six, centre half back for Clare. Takes it, but... But Martin Shovelin is there again, passes off a ball to Martin Gavigan. Martin delivers into the half forward line, but beaten again, comes to the center field man for Clare. Takes it hand to toe, passes out to the right wing, gives it off to his half back. A long ball comes again. Noel Higgerty is under it. And Noel Higgerty's got it too. But then again, that's the story of Noel Higgerty all year. He's got it often. Seems to be playing great football. Declan Boner has picked up the ball, passes it on. Sad. One of those passes that went astray, but this one didn't. Joyce McMullen anticipated that. Sadly, it didn't work right, though. Comes up again. Brian Murray is back there to collect it. Passes it out to Declan Boner. Declan Boner passes and turn on to Manus Boyle. Manus takes a shot. Ball high, high. Wide ball, sorry, just a couple inches wide. Now, those are neat breach umpires. I wonder if they're giving us a fair shake today. I don't know about that. Time will tell, I suppose. He still said it was wide. Place for the kick out again. The Clare goalie. Mikey Keeney said he wanted a good commentary, so I hope he's getting it. He is getting it anyway. Father McCauley said so. Kick for the kick out again. She comes out to the centre of the field. Anthony Malloy standing there. She was grabbed and turned by that brilliant corner back there for Clare. White-haired, playing great stuff, passes it off to number 19. 19 has knocked away for the present from Martin McHugh. Centre field man for Clare is tackled by Brian Murray. A good anticipation there by John Joe Doherty who passes the ball but she's picked off again. A ball well blocked again. Paul Carr. Paul, lovely catch by Anthony Malloy. Manus Boyle, brilliant stuff. Right into Tony, into his mouth. Declan Boner, Declan, what has to be? And that's a point. Lovely point. 
I hear a lot of them saying here in the background it should have been in the back of the net, but I don't agree with them, so I would say that I'm the boss. He took his point, which is a very good one. I am sure that point he would have loved to get it in Crow Park a couple of weeks ago there, and it didn't come then. Not too quick anyway, but they did come eventually. Declan Boner takes a point. Good score. Lovely score. And the scoreboard says at the present time Donegal has won three and Cundy and Clare has one point. Ball is kicked out again to the middle of the field. Anthony Malloy rises work. But then again, Brian Murray, his partner, picks it up. Tap down to him. Declan Boner has it again. Here comes Martin McHugh. It has to be, got to be, and is. Lovely point. This machine of Donegal seems to be clicking well today. I was talking to Brian McNiff before the game and he's telling me that his injuries are coming along well and that he doesn't see any problems in the future with the injury that he has. Not especially Don Reid. Barry McGowan has come along very well as well. Ball is placed again for the kick out. The goalie kicks her out. Kicks her well out. The breeze seems to be catching her. Martin McHugh goes up high for it. But the corner back for Claire goes a wee bit higher. And that's what it's all about. They're moving up field again. Good long passes. Father McCauley, what's his number? Number 10 has it again. Number 5. Lovely pass in. The full forward has it. Trouble again. But well read. A free in. Right from outside the 14. He takes a shot and a goal. Sorry. Our referee, Pat Welch, says you better bring it back. And when he says it, you had better do it. The ball is placed right outside the 14-yard line. Noel Roach takes it and he kicks it right over the bar. So the score at present time is Donegal 1 4, Cundy and Clare 2 points. I see a referee is heading back for the umpire. Whatever happened back there, I don't know, but I would say it'll be sorted out soon. Ball has been placed again. Gary Welsh kicks it. He comes up, kicks it, kicks it long. Ball is fisted down. But then again, Joyce McMullen is back again, takes the ball, gives it long. Right into the centre. Tony Boyle moves. Declan Boner. Lovely stuff. Hard luck. Not out yet, as out. Declan, you had a man running free. You should have given it off, but you didn't. So it cost you. Cost you dearly. Faggy, <laughs> Faggy, Keeney says at this point in time, I might as well have I'd lost it. Ball is placed again for the kick out. Jerry Colleen. Ball is picked by Jerry Colleen. Lovely. Well taken by Brian Murray. Declan Boner fills it out over him, but that brilliant corner back again for Clare. Seamus Clancy. What a footballer. Brilliant stuff, but Martin Gavigan, Paul Clark, well blocked again by Brian Murray. So it's a sideline ball for Clare. Taken by taken by Aidan Maloney. He kicks it, kicks it long, right into the corner. Well anticipated by Martin Shovelin. Martin passes it back to John Joe Doherty. John Joe in turn gives it back to Matt Guller. Matt has been kind of quiet in this game here today, but I would say he'll come to life yet. On to Martin McHugh, lovely stuff. On to Tony Boyle, brilliant stuff. Lovely ball. A long fisted ball out to Andy Malloy. And he still gets down on it. He has it. Hand to toe, pass it off to Martin McHugh. 
Martin fished it into Tony Boyle. Tony Boyle has fouled, and there's a free, but he isn't fouled. I thought he was, but no. And in turn, Anthony Malloy kicks it wide. I think the knee breed referee there was kind of slow and blowing the whistle. But however, he didn't see it that way, so the ball has gone wide. The score still remains. Donegal won four. Cundy and Clare, two points. And James Hans is kicking out. Hanrahan is kicking out the ball. He kicks it. He kicks it high, kicks it long. Brian Murray was pushing on the back, and the rule says Brian now shall not push a man on the back and play Gaelic football. She's kicked on again. Matt Gallagher gets out in front of his man, passes it down to Brian Murray, who handed toes, kicks it long. A ball into Tony Boyle, but just missed it. She's still in play. Passes it back to Hanrahan, and Turn gives it out to a centre half back, and Turn passes it out to number nine, a centre field man, Tom Morrissey. Morrissey will do this time. <laughs> <laughs> number 10. John Roach gives it off to 19, who is a sub on this team. He takes a shot, and sadly it goes wide. He was not inches wide, but miles wide. As most of you know by this stage, Matt Gallagher is captain the team here today, and it is a great occasion for Matt, who's given such a long and dedicated service to the Kneebridge Club. James McHugh has got into the picture, he's blocking. But he is fouled and turned by Anthony Malloy. And Anthony fell on top of him. God knows him better as a footballer than me because I wouldn't like Anthony Malloy to fall on top of me. But how and ever, the ball is placed again for the free, which will be taken by Franz McInerney. Number 11 on the Clare team. It's been taken by Dermot Coughlin. I wonder if there's any relation to Mary's. I don't know. He kicks it, he kicks it, picked off by Matt Guller. I said before Matt didn't come into it, but he's coming into it now. Passes it out, gives it off to Brian Murray. Brian Murray kicks it, and he kicks it long. And again, Tony Boyle, where art thou? But Tony's not there. The fullback again picks it off, gives it off to number seven, who in turn gives it off to Hanrahan. Morris, he gets it, tackled again. Still down, there's a free for Clare. And this time he decides to leave it on the ground and he's going to kick it out of there. Ball is kicked. Kicked up onto the square. That color right run. That has to be the miss of a lifetime. Number 10 is still there. And goes off his hand and goes wide. The Clare, the Clare forwards would want to tighten up their game, but that was a golden opportunity. Nobody to beat, only the goalie. I would say Gary Welsh was happy enough with the outcome, but I would say the Clare fans weren't. Gary kicks it again, kicks it long, kicks it high. Fisted on a bit further by Brian Murray. Given up to Martin McHugh, who in turn was fouled. And Martin's going to try one of these... Gavigan does it, he comes up, kicks it. Kicks it, cuts it, and the ball has gone wide. And the faithful following is still coming into the pitch here today. Traffic is moving from all angles. We're still getting lots of people in here. Ball must well picked up by Paul Carr, who in turn gives it off to Declan Boner, who in turn gives it off to James McHugh. James kind of quiet today, not moving as well as he would or should or could, but this he's starting to get into it more. Declan Boner's the ball again. This has to be a score. Declan, you'll not get it off the ground, but you get a free for it anyway. 
a free which is out about 16 yards and I, this should be easy enough for Declan Boner. I hear people laugh in the background and wonder what's that for. Declan comes up, he kicks it, kicks it and he kicks it straight between the portions over the bar. The score once again is doing all 1-5 and Condé and Clare two points. That's eight points to two. <coughs> Kicked again, kicked again, picked off by Brian Murray, picked off, Brian tackles, gives off to the centre field man again for Claire Morrissey, but here comes Noel Higgerty again. What a year Noel Higgerty's having since he came back of his injury. Declan Boner, lovely stuff again, Manus Boyle, Manus Boyle to James McHugh. James McHugh decides that he's going to take him on, fists it in to Declan Boner again, Declan Boner gives it off to Mark McHugh who in turn kicks it on, gives it to Joyce McMullen. Joyce lofts a high one. Should have been over the bar, but isn't. And that is not going to be good enough on the third Sunday in September. You are going to have to put away those scores. If we are going to come down through Pettigo with the Sam Maguire Cup. But she, in turn, she comes out to the centre of the field again. Paul Carr. Paul Carr is very much in the game today. Turn gives it off to John Doe Doherty. John Doe Doherty gives it off to his fullback Matt Goddard. Matt in turn gives it back to Paul Carr, who in turn gives it back to Matt Goddard. Matt kicks, kicks it high and kicks it long. And to James McHugh. Tony Boyle, where art thou? I don't see you. Comes again to tackle. Carrying it out, slips. A ball, but it's gone out and it's a clear ball. A good entertaining game of football. Some more scores in it, but good enough play. On this wet occasion, Andy Malloy fuss it on. Joyce McMullen again. Joyce moves again. Joyce, Joyce has to be, got to be. James, Mark McHugh and the Declan Boner. Has to be, beautiful goal. Lovely stuff. Lovely combination football. Oh, how lovely the short passing game is when it works. What a beautiful move. Lovely stuff. Sometimes it doesn't work, but the time it works, it's beautiful. Lovely to watch. Even Peter Quinn would agree with me there. He may not agree with me all the time, but he does this time. Lovely combination football. Good stuff. Joyce McMullen started it all off. And Declan Boner finished it. Anthony's gone up again. But Anthony fouled his man so there's a free. Ball is kicked. And to Noel Higgerty. Noel, Noel moves. Matt Goller fusses it down to Martin Gavigan. Who in turn gives it off to Paul Carr. This is a decision of the linesman. And it's a clear ball he's given. Kicks it into the centre. Who have we got? Matt Goller is there. Fists it down lovely. Gives it to Martin McHugh, who in turn gives it back to John Joe Doherty. John Joe Doherty kicks it. Kicks it down the centre. Bad ball is right. Centre field man for Clare has it. Morrissey again. Fists it in, but a pass that went astray. Picked up by Brian Murray. Brian Murray. Martin McHugh has it again. James McHugh. James kicks it into Tony Boyle. Tony turns his man, gives it to Declan Bonner. The ball's still in play, good play by the Clare fullback. That ball should have been away in the back of the net, but wasn't. However, them things will happen, but the ball is in play again and she comes out to the far wing, kicked up. Martin Gaffigan fouls his man, so there's a free for Clare. He decides to drop the ball. Number six for Clare kicks it. John Jorowin. Francis making ear knees. Tackled. And I've a seen that there, a scene right now at the present time that there's no call for.
A scene at the present time on the far side of the field, and ladies and gentlemen, this is not worth the opening of a pitch. Don't know who it started, don't know how it started, don't care how it started, but it shouldn't have started. There is no call for the like of that. Donegal cannot afford to engage in this kind of stuff two weeks before an All-Ireland final. I think that the referee here will have to take some kind of measures. I don't know what it will be. Probably a good talking off will do at this point in time. Football was flowing brilliantly up to that point. And I still say it will still flow again. But there's a free given in to Clare. There's a Clare man behind me here and he says when they get this out of their system he'll be all right. I don't know, maybe it was a banquet last night. Martin Gavigan goes high. Martin gets a tackle but he seems to be all right and is coming back up again. Incidents like that cannot happen, must not happen, should not happen, and will not happen again, I hope. Good entertaining game of football, that's what we need here. Gary Walsh kicks it. Kicks it high and kicks it long. Gary is kicking very well today. Malloy's gone up, fist the ball on him at Porter, but it's picked up. Declan Boner fouls his man, so there's a free for Clare. Kicks it. Kicks it long, Martin shoveling, misses it. Clare seems to have got more into the game now. They seem to be playing a lot but better, or a little bit better. Kicks the ball, kicks it high, kicks it long into the centre. Matt Goller goes up with his man, puts the ball away. Noel Higgerty in pursuit. Noel Higgerty still pursuit. Matt Goller picks it up, kicks it, picks it off, gives it to more. Lovely stuff. Matt kicks it and he kicks it out long. And there was a foul on Manus Boyle, so a free in for Donegal. Somewhere from about the centre of the field. They'll come and see you from the back of me that the short passing game is not good. As I said before, it works lovely. It do looks lovely when it works, but when it doesn't, it's not so good. Brian Murray kicks the ball. He kicks it high, he kicks it long. Tony Boyle feels it. Beautiful stuff. Tony feels it, kicks it. But the goalie fumbled it again. A ball that should have been over the bar, but isn't, wasn't. Can't afford to do stuff like that. But a ground football now. Andy Malloy tackles his man in hot pursuit again. Ball given off. Give it off again. Matt Goller seems to be coming into this game again. A foul on Matt, so Matt kicks it. Gives it off to Gavigan. Give it off again. Donegal seem to have lost their way there for a while. Clare seems to have got the upper hand, playing better football. Number 10 for Clare. Fouled and there's a free in. Old Roach again. That old Roach seems to be everywhere, playing good football. And there's a free from outside the 21 yard line. Corkin. Number nine is number nine, 19 is going to take this as Martin Daly. He places it, he moves back, steps the usual couple of steps to the left, moves up, kicks it, kicks it over the bar. Lovely point. Good point for Claire. Thing they needed to settle him. Donegal two goals and five points, and Clare three points. And we, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the half time, and I hand you back now to our producer here, Mr. Paddy Keane.
Mikey, a new couple of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves again on the platform, and there's a lady here that I would like to say a few words to, who has played no small part today in the opening of this pitch. As a matter of fact, it was the lady who sold the pitch to us, my very good friend, my neighbour, our colleague, Miss Sheila Hamilton. Sheila, you are very welcome here to our opening today. Thank you very much, Joe. I'm very pleased to be here. It's most exciting game, this. I've never watched a full match before, but it gives me great pleasure to think that it's on my field and it's the Donegal team that's playing. Thank you, Joe. Sheila, down through the years, you've always been a great supporter of the young people. Today, I know that you donated you donated a cup to be played out for by the young people of the parish and for the Club Knee Bridge. Sheila, I am sure it's a great thrill for you as a giver, and I am sure it's a great thrill to New Bridge as a receiver. Well, it's certainly a thrill for me as a giver, and I was telling the boys that they played so well, maybe one or two of them might be playing for Donegal and maybe for the, in the old Ireland later on in years to come. Sheila, I thank you very much for your comments today. Thank you very much. Now we have the president of our club here, the Knee Bridge Club, the Reverend Father Macaulay. Father Macaulay, on this, on this great occasion, what is your thought? Oh, I'm enjoying this, Joe. It's a very historic day for all of us, and I'm delighted that I'm uh, still alive and seeing this uh, wonderful pitch being opened and blessed by his lordship and having our president of a JA here. It's a lovely day for all of us and the New Bridge Club deserve great credit. Thank you very much, Father Macaulay. I move along the line here now. I move along the line here now and there's a person sitting in front of me who in no small way contributed to helping us achieve our goals today. I am talking to the Donegal County Councillor, the Fun Gael Councillor, Mr. Colm Gallagher. Colm, you're very welcome to the Thrummond Park today. Thank you, Joe, and it's a pleasure to be here. And we in Donegal County Council were privileged and proud to be associated with the development of this park. And unfortunately, the day is not as kind as it might be but still, there's a good crowd, and Donegal are playing well, and we hope this all goes well for the final on the third Sunday in September. Colm, thank you very much. We have here in the background now our local TT, Mary Coughlin. Mary Coughlin, not Mary Coughlin. Now, Mary, could you get yourself out here? I know well that I know that you're delighted to talk to me. Many a time you were glad to talk to me, and you better talk to me today. Mary. You are very much associated with us, and I've been at several meetings myself with you regarding this pitch here today. And finances, and likewise, what's your feeling today looking out on this great sea of green grass? Well, I'd say the, the money's worth it, but I'm sure you're looking for more now, Joe. Mary, would we, <laughs> did we ever look for money or ever look for more? <laughs> of course you did. But anyway, seriously, it's been a tremendous uh, achievement by such a small club in a small country area that they've been able to achieve so much and I'm delighted to be able to help and to participate and I'm sure if there's a few more pounds to be got later on I'm sure we'll not see you too badly stuck either. Mary, I want to thank you very much and the money is always good but then again it's always nice to see a pretty face too. Mary Coughlin, TD, thank you very much. We have next here Mr. Sean McNuff, well-known county councillor from Mundorn. Sean, I welcome you to Thrummond Park Again, you were very much associated with this park and the development of it and the financing of it. I'm blocking you out from the camera and that's not good. I love the camera, Joe, don't you? May I say to you congratulations on an excellent uh, presentation of a pitch here today. It's second to nothing that you would see and it's a credit to the Valentra and all the, all the people involved with this development. It's unbelievable to see a development like this and the community uh, effort that went into this must have been tremendous particularly for a small area like Ballantra. You're a credit to, to Ballantra. And when you come up to towns like Bundorn and various other places and see we can't do these sort of things, congratulations. I don't know about that now. Sean, thank you very much. I have another gentleman here now, Mr. Peter Kennedy. Peter Kennedy, TD from Donegal Town. Peter, I want to 
Is he a TD or a councillor? Of course he's a councillor. I'm blocking you out again, Peter. <laughs> Peter, again, I have to say to you, you helped us out here with the development of this park. What is your feeling today when you look out and see all the things that we did do with the money? I think uh, that, uh, first of all, the Neve Beach Club deserves great credit for the way that they spent money here in this area. Uh, uh, certainly as a credit to a club the size of Neve Bridge, when you see the results that they have here today, it's certainly money well spent and uh, I think the club should be very, very proud of themselves today uh, on the very fine job and the very fine pitch that they have. And also the support that they have here today, it shows what the people of the whole uh, county thought, think of the Neve Bridge Club, uh, the way that they turned out to support them today. Peter Kennedy, I want to thank you very much. We have sitting here now in front of me that beautiful lady, secretary of the Donegal County Board. We have Noreen Doherty. Noreen, your thoughts are with us today, I'm sure, and I'm sure you've been associated with us in many different ways since we started developing this park. That's right. Well, I'd just like to give great credit to the Need Breed Club, all their workers for their magnificent pitch. As badly needed in the county, a few more than not go astray. But Noreen, for a short for a very small area like ourselves, what would you think like for the rest of the county? Other areas, could they take example from us or am I wrong in saying that? Of course, all other small clubs. You're here in between two very large clubs, Eru, Ballyshannon and Four Masters in Donegal Town. There's a lot of other clubs spread around the county, similar to yourselves, and they're on development at the moment. Glen Swally's one that comes to mind. So they all can take heart from today. Noreen, I want to thank you very much. And the game I see is ready to start again. Thank you very much, Noreen. And, and we were entertained there for, by that beautiful band from Kelly Beggs. The teams are back out in the field again. The referee is ready to throw on the ball again. And Donegal this time will be playing against the breeze. The score at the present time is Donegal 2-5 and Clare 3 points. Ball has been through and Brian Murray is first to get it. Gives it off to Marty again, Gavin. Hits it long. Manus Boyle, hand to toe. Hand to toe, Manus takes a shot, kicks it high, kicks it long. A lovely ball dropping in. Dropped by the goalie. Picked up again by James McHugh. Dropped by James McHugh. Picked up again and turned. Takes it out. Fists it into the middle. But a pass that has gone astray, gone badly astray, and the ball has gone out again. Donegal right now are going ducks and drakes, but Andy Malloy comes back to the retrieve a very bad situation. It was fouled and turned, and there's a free for Donegal. I see the Clare have changed the goalkeeper and the new goalkeeper as Tara Welch. Carl Welch. Well, there's Clare action and this Donegal one. There's a bit of a difference in between, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm being very nice to them. <laughs> Centre field again for Clare. Picks it up. Gives it in. John Joe Doherty drops it for Nansen, but picks it up again. Gives it out to Paul Carr. Paul Carr seems to very much in this game today. Gives it off to Noel Higgerty. Noel Higgerty gives it off to Andy Malloy. Andy Malloy in turn gives it into the centre half back. Martin Gavigan. Shovelin has the ball. Passes one man. Kicks it on. Picked up by Manus Boyle. Manus Boyle gives it off to Martin McHugh. Martin McHugh takes on his man. Gives it into Shovelin. Takes his shot. That ball didn't go over the bar. She went about 95 miles wide. And she's placed again for the kick out. Martin Shovlin, you need to get your shooting boots sharpened up a bit. She's kicked out again by that new goalie keeper. She lands out. Anthony Malloy goes up. Martin Gavigan again. Gives it off to... Gives it off to Murray. Murray gives it off. Lovely ball. Anthony Malloy hesitated, but the hesitation cost. But 
Ball has gone out over the line. as line ball for Donegal. I think Anthony Molloy must judge that one. Kicked again. Kicked long. Manus Boyle. That, br that brilliant corner back again from Clare. Passed off to Brian Murray. Brian Murray. Shoveling. I hear somebody shouting to get it in, but I know who it is, but I can't say it on radio here. The ball's been passed on, given off to Declan Bonner. Declan Bonner's moving, moving well. Declan takes his shot. Wide ball, inches wide. Good effort again, but just sadly wide. I would say the ball is getting a bit slippery at this point in time and it make scores will be harder to come by. Kicked out again. Kicked to the middle of the field. Anthony Malloy goes upward. Anthony goes on for it. Anthony's foul, but gives a high ball and not the best of balls, but caught well by Tony Boyle. Gives it off to James McHugh. James McHugh in turn gives it off to Declan Boner. Declan playing well today. Foul, foul, foul has to be, and there's a free in. I called that one before the referee, but I used to referee a bit myself one time too. Ball is placed. Declan Boner will take the kick. She's out about 14 yards, 15 yards. Should be easy chance. Declan kicks it. Kicks it, and he kicks it over the bar. And I see the umpire's raising the flag. Michael Walls is down there, I think. That's him. Michael is raising it. So another score for Donegal, which leaves it right now. Donegal 2-6, clear three points. And that is 12 points to three. Kicked out by Clare again. Gavigan goes up, fists it down. Time is hit by Brian Murray. <laughs> Apart from this great challenge, what a great year Clare had. What brilliant stuff they played in the championship up there until the final. And even the final against Dublin, they played great football too. It's a team that's going to come through in the future, has to come through. Good young footballers, has to come through. Paul Blake kicks the ball from about 45 yards out, but he kicks it wide. Oh, the, oh, the bank couldn't Donegal town last night. I would say the Clare manager is going to have something to say about it when he gets back down to Ennis again. If he hasn't already seen it today. Ball has been placed again. Gary Welch is going to kick it out. The team is going, or the manager. Beautifully knocked down by Brian Murray. Gives it off to Gavigan. Martin Shovelin gives it off in turn. Now, not a great ball, but but out over the line, and I think it's a Donegal line ball. Noel Higgerty picks it up. Noel Higgerty starts pushing out. One of his great run. Tony Boyle goes looking for it. Lovely Boyle, Manus Boyle. What a pickup! A lovely pickup. Lovely stuff. I would say he's fouled to have a free in. A beautiful pick up there by Manus Boyle. Played the ball beautifully, but he was surrounded by three Clare men who in turn pulled him down, so Manus gets a free. Manus was very instrumental in the game against Mio with his free taken. This should be an easy one for him. He goes back. He steps up, he kicks it, and he kicks it nice and neatly over the bar. Lovely stuff, Manus. Good stuff, a ball well won. Ball well played by Noel Higgery into him. And we're very happy to announce that the rain has stopped here in Thrumman and conditions are not so bad at all. Ball is fisted again by Brian Murray. Fisted down to J James McHugh. Turn gives it off to Anthony Malloy. Anthony Malloy gives it to Brian Murray. Brian Murray in turn gives it into Paul Carr. Paul Carr is tackled, but he gets his kick in. Declan Boner's hot pursuit. Declan Boner oversteps and the ball has been cleared out again by Clare. 
Number two, who is it? Number two, Seamus Clancy. The ball is cleared out by Clancy. Good tackle again. I would say my man of the match today would have to go to Paul Carr. He's playing great stuff back there. As moves out of the back lines, getting great possession. But a bad place ball by John Joe Doherty. Could cost him. Martin McHugh tackles. Keeps the pressure on. I would say Clare is guilty of the short passing and too many of them as well. This man takes a kick. Takes it and he kicks it wide. I think the direct ball in would have been much better in that particular time. There's eight minutes gone in this second half and the scoreboard reads at the present time, Donegal 2-7, Cundy and Clare three points. Ball is kicked out again. Well cleared out ball by Matt Goller. Badly misplaced ball, she's still in play. Good score, good score but it wasn't. Thought it was but it wasn't. Badly played out. Ball is kicked in again. She's going into the centre again. Full forward for Clare Hazard. Tackles. Great, great save by number four. And the knee. And the knee bridge. The knee bridge referee says thou shalt not lift it off the ground. And that has cost him a penalty. I don't know who the culprit was on that occasion, but. That's a penalty for Clare. It is a 14, not a penalty. I thought myself that it was a penalty, but how wrong I was. Dermot Coughlin took it and he kicked it over. I thought myself that it was a penalty, but Joe, how wrong he can be. And I think all the clear people standing behind me would have agreed with me at that time that the referee was wrong, and I was right. <laughs> Ball has been placed again for the kick out. Gary Welch. Gary is kicking her long today, playing well. Gary's having a good year. Not with the Eriwa club again. He's anchored now about down somewhere. I think it's in Uri. Up to go for that ball. Missed it. Martin Shovelin picked it up, gives it off to Matt Goller. Matt is fouled. And my sidekick here beside me says that, that he was lucky to get that, but I see Matt is limping it, but I hope there's nothing seriously wrong with him. The ball is kicked by Brian Murray. Tony Boyle goes up for it. Tony misses it. Picked up by the Clare centre half back. Tony Boyle seems to be... The fruits maybe of a banquet last night, but he wasn't at it, though I can guarantee you that. The only one that participated in that last night was Matt Goller. And I think Matt Goller in turn was closely watched by Brian McNiff from across the floor, and he didn't get too much. There was a lot of that old bally going, what they're going. And somebody says Rockwell. But I have a feeling that it was water out of the law esque he got. <laughs> And I see a lot of people will appreciate it. Charlie Mulgrew has moved into the Donegal attack to place Tony Boyle. Tony's coming off, and I see Noel Higgerty is coming to the line as well. And then for him goes John Cunningham. And I would say that them two men that's just gone in will be trying to impress as well. Places will be very hard on the first touch. John Cunningham got the ball in his hand, and he gave it off to Brian Murray. Brian goes on a solo run, gives it off to Anthony Malloy. Anthony Malloy. Moves out and beats one lovely tackle. Lovely tackle. As fouled and there's a free in. 
as a free in for Anthony Malloy. And there was a push on Anthony Malloy as he went down, so the ball is moving forward 10 yards. And Declan Boner goes out to take this kick. Scoreboard at the present time, Donegal 2-7, clear four points. Declan Boner moves up, goes to take it. He kicks it, he kicks it, kicks it high, and he kicks it over the bar. Declan has his shooting boots with him today, all right. Donegal 2-8, and that calls it 14 points, and clear as four points. Ball well kicked out. Fisted away by Martin Gavigan. Caught by Anthony Malloy. Anthony Malloy seems to be coming better into the game now. Gives it off to Martin Gavigan. Martin McHugh's moving well. Martin McHugh moves. Joyce McMullen's running with him. Joyce McMullen carries a run up. Up the sideline. Cuts into the centre. Takes a lovely ball. Gives it in. Gives it in to McHugh again. McHugh takes a shot. Goes off a clear man. Picked up by a clear man. And cleared out by a clear man. Brian Murray gets ready in the middle of the field. Brian moves. Martin Gavigan picked up by Charlie Mulgrew. A lot of people will be glad to see Charlie making his appearance. Give it up to Martin McHugh. Charlie takes it. Charlie takes a shot. Charlie takes a shot, but goes wide. I see right now the present time Barry Cunningham's warming up here on the sideline. And the last place I seen Barry or heard of Barry was a, the night on a programme the Rosa Trolley. And mind you, they were playing no football and that, I can assure you. Ball is kicked. Kicked long. Well read by Matt Gulliher. Into the centre half back. Out to the wing. Comes out to Josh McMullen. Josh McMullen sells a dummy. Martin Shovelin moving. Give it off to Martin McHugh. Martin McHugh gives it off to Martin Shovelin. Martin Shovelin goes again. Gives it off, lovely. Beautiful ball, Tommy Ryan. Tommy Ryan. What a mess. Man is boiled, man is boiled. What happened now? What happened? Oh, mamma mia. Oh, that has to be the mess of the day. That was the biggest mess since Packy Keeney decided that he was going to come away without his announcer. Ball fisted, down by Brian Murray, but into the hands of a clear man, who in turn is fouled, takes the kick, kicks it long. John Joe Doherty, duck. Bad ball in, picked off by Gary Walsh. Pass it out to Paul Carr. Conditions are getting a bit slippy here now. John Cunningham has the ball. Gives it off to Matt Guller. And turn gives it off to John Joe Doherty. Gives it off to Martin Shovelin. Good ball in. Good ball in. Well read again by Manus Boyle. Kicked up nicely up to Declan Boner. Declan picks it up. Gives it off to Tommy Ryan. Tommy's entered the free as well. A wide ball, wide ball, wide ball. Tommy Ryan is in, in the corner now as well. He's come into the game. He's replaced. He's gone in full forward and out come Tony Boyle. I see Barry Cunningham has come into the game now again. Andy Malloy has gone out. He's decided to give Anthony a rest. Now, we are starting to play sloppy football. Sloppy football doesn't want all Ireland. Ball is kicked again by Clare, out into the centre of the field. Fielded beautifully by Paul Carr. Barry Cunningham in turn, gives it off to Martin McHugh. Martin McHugh beats his man, gives it off to Shovelin. Lovely running, good stuff. Giving off to Declan Boner, right into the corner. Back in again to Joyce McMullen. Joyce McMullen takes a shot and has gone harmlessly wide. 
There are 17 minutes gone in the second half. I think the breeze is playing a little bit ducks and drakes with this game today because she doesn't seem to be scoring that well. Good ball, well placed by John Joe Doherty. Beautiful pick off by John Joe Doherty. Lovely ball again to Barry Cunningham. Barry gives it off to Martin Gavigan, who in turn gives it off to Charlie Mulgrew. Charlie Mulgrew feeds Gavigan again. Who's running? But the pass that gone astray, the one, the extra one that went astray, and turn they give off on. Joyce McMullen picks it up again. Joyce gives it off to Declan Boner. And Joyce is still running, picks it up again himself. Lovely stuff, Joyce. Lovely stuff. Wall caught. Ball is kicked out. She will go out over the sideline. She doesn't go out over the sideline and is still in play. Martin McHugh goes, picks it up, gives it off to Martin Gavigan. Martin Gavigan, kick is blocked, comes to Barry Cunningham. Passing is, passing is getting dreadful right now. Ball has gone off to Clare again. Clare centre half back moves up. Takes it hand to toe, passes it off. Goal has to be. I see the referee re-running up. There's a man down round or near the square. There's a penalty. I think I have it right this time. I think I got it right this time. All the Clare people agree with me. A penalty for Clare. Eight. Number eight. For Clare. And it's Tom Morrissey that's going to take this penalty. And somebody that's changed their mind again, I see that it's Martin Daly that's going to take it. Martin steps back. Up he comes. He kicks. A good, lovely goal. Well taken. Good score. A pit. And entering, entering the game now is number 23 for Donegal, Sylvester Maguire. Sylvester Maguire has replacement Declan Boner. And Declan Boner had a good game today. Declan played well. His free taking was superb, so it was. So it seems like Brian McNuff has given them all a run out here today. Failed it. Ball is kicked. Well picked off by Paul Carr. Paul is having a great game today. Beautiful stuff. Barry Cunningham gets it off. Barry gives it off to Gavigan. Martin Gavigan goes, kicks it long. Kicks it well. Sylvester Maguire. Comes to Seamus Clancy. Seamus Clancy went on a run, passes it off. A long ball that's gone in. But the goalkeeper is there. I see Joyce McMullen back there covering. Goalie kicks it out to Matt Guller. Matt Guller beats his man. Gives it off to Barry Cunningham. Barry Cunningham in turn gives it off to Matt Guller, who in turn gives it off to Martin Shovelin. Martin Shovelin, at this point, is going the wrong way. And a desperate kick by Martin Shovelin kicks the ball out over the sideline. The short passing is not working today. Ball is going into Gary Walsh. Comes out to Matt Guller again. Matt Guller. Gives it off to Paul Carr and turn gives it off to John Joe Doherty. John Cunningham passes it on. Martin Shovelin moves again. Ball well in. Well played, well read. Six. Crossing has come into the game too now for Donegal. Ball well driven up. But Donegal seems to be nowhere. At the present time, they're everywhere and anywhere except the right place. Ball is kicked. Kicked to the far side of the field. Matt Gollard in hot pursuit. And a ball, I think, that's going to beat everybody. It doesn't beat Matt Gollard. She was lifted off the ground, so it's a free in for Clare. Two men from Donegal went for the one ball. There is no call for the like of that, but that's the way it is. And it cost them dearly. It'll cost them by a score, I would say. Ball is placed for the kick out. Placed for the free taking. 
Up he comes. I don't know what his name is. He's that far away. I can't see his number. Martin Daly again. That Daly seems to be cropping up everywhere. He kicks it. He kicks it. Lovely point over the bar. Score rides at the present time. Donegal 2-8. And County Clare 5 points. That's a long, long way from Clare to here. I, he, say, he says, if you can't announce, you better sing. The scoreboard reads again. Donegal 2-8, Clare 1-5. My, Joyce McMullen has it again. Gives it off to Barry Cunningham. Gives it to Joyce McMullen. Ball's kicked. And comes in to Keith Crossan, goes off to Sylvester Maguire, goes off to Sylvester Maguire, and it's a fee from Clare. Ball has been placed, and it's going to be kicked by Tom Clancy. Tom kicks it, kicks it well down the middle. Turn is picked off by Crossan. Sylvester Maguire has it. Sylvester's tackle but still moves on, gives it to Gavigan. Gives it off to Shovelin. Kicks, kicks it in. Manus Boyle, foul but a free out. A C number 19 for Donegal is Michael Gallagher. It's, he's playing his present football. Lovely ball given off. Tommy Ryan, Tommy Ryan. A ball, what a goal! What a goal! A Tommy Ryan special. Well taken, well hit, well delivered. Back in the net for Donegal. Score right now reads Donegal 3 8. Clare, Clare, Clare 1 5. There's so many Clare people in behind me here, I bet they get it right. Barry Cunningham picks it up again. Gives it off to John Cunningham. John Cunningham gives it off to Martin McHugh. Tommy Ryan is starting to open up the thing now. Gives it into Martin Gavigan. Gives it into Manus Boyle. Manus Boyle has to be a ball. A good point. Lovely point by Sylvester Maguire. Ball should have been over long ago, but didn't. But however, she finished up over the bar by Sylvester Maguire. Ball is kicked out again. Kicked out. Well punched clear by Michael Gallagher. There seems to be a lot of short passing today. Long ball delivered in. Well anticipated by Matt Gallagher. Matt picks it up. Dummies his man. Gets his free. Gives it off to Cunningham. Cunningham gives it to Gavigan. One pass too many. Ball coming in. Donny Gall in trouble. Ball is kicked and the ball is kicked over the bar. Great point by Clare. And the scoreboard reads Donegal 3 9, Clare 1 6. You better check with the man on the scoreboard. Conditions are getting a bit slippery out there at the present time. But looking out at the knee breach pitch, it seems to be standing up well to its task. A game that's progressing fairly good now. And we have five minutes to go. Barry Cunningham is fouled. And there's a free kick. Joyce Sylvester Maguire kicks it. A kick that went astray. Tackled by McGuinness from Glenties. First names are hard to come by. Claremont gets it. Thanks very much, Father. 
You'll never see what you'll get for Christmas. Just passed out to the far side. A ball kicked, kicked into the center. Dropped inside by the full forward. He rolls it on the ground and there's a free out. <laughs> Martin Gavigan, Martin playing good stuff today. Martin gives the ball off, gives it off. Well caught, well handled. Number six, number six, number six, number six is out. Joe Jorowain caught that ball, he's playing in now, number six. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Great save. Great save by Gary Walsh. Point blank range. Frankie Griffin playing a great game there today at number five. He had hard luck for a goal there, but in turn, a great save by Gary Walsh. So it's gone over the bar for a point. Donegal 3-9, Clare 1-7. And I see a very happy looking chairman of the Knee Bridge Club down there, Michael Gulliher. Everything has gone right today, Michael. So I would say I see a big smile on our treasurer's face down there as well. Ball is placed again, played by Martin Gaffigan. Martin Gaffigan is playing tremendous stuff. Brilliant stuff, Martin. But a wee bit too long. Again in turn. Pat Walsh says, you shall not foul and you cannot foul. Number five again. Lovely tackle, well played. Matt Goller comes out again. Tackled by, gives the ball off to Charlie Mulgrew. Charlie carries it with him. That's it long. Martin Gavigan, Barry Cunningham. On to Martin McHugh, Martin McHugh, number 19, Michael Gallagher, a lovely point, why do you didn't call it right, you didn't call it right, a wide ball, ball comes quickly out again, fisted down, tackled by McGuinness, tackled by Jim McGuinness, a glanty soon, Torn fouls him. There comes that man again, Martin Gavigan. Gives it off to Joyce McMullen. Lovely ball to the corner. Well played for McGuinness. Jim McGuinness gives it off to Charlie Mulgrew. Charlie Mulgrew's men on both sides of him. Plenty of men everywhere. Charlie, Charlie, do not hold it too long. We had five men inside. Plenty of men to take scores. Nobody took them and in turn the ball was picked off. Played down the field by Clare. Clare plays it, and he's fouled, and there's a free. And my watch says a couple of minutes to go. And my producer says here, we're in a minute an injury time, so I would say this could be the last kick of it. Ball is placed, kicks it. The last effort of the game and a bad wide by Clare. <laughs> the Knee Bridge Club would like to thank all the people that came along today. We had a great crowd, even though the conditions weren't as great, but hope we were glad in the last half hour of the game, things brightened up a bit. We hope that the people can go away from here and say to themselves, we enjoyed what we've seen and enjoyed what we came to see, and the very best of luck to Donegal, and in two weeks' time when they go to Dublin to play in the All-Ireland against Dublin. Clareman is fouled on the 14-yard line, and there's a free in. Takes a shot, a brilliant save by Gary Walsh. A second brilliant save by Gary Walsh. Lovely stuff. And for it, he was fouled and he gets a free out. Now, if we can have that kind of stuff from Gary up in Crow Park, we've got no problems. 
two brilliant saves after one another. And I would say Mrs. Walsh is going to have to wash some togs because I see an awful black spot in Gary's posterior. <laughs> Ball has been placed for the kick out again. I would say the last kick of the game. Even in this late stage, Pat Welsh decides he has a whistle in his mouth. Gary's getting ready to kick it. He kicks it. He kicks it. The final whistle is gone and the game is over. The final score is Donegal 3-9, Clare 1-7. And I hand you back to Paggy Keeney.